Fire has today gutted Kaguta and Rumumba Boys dormitories at Kabali Brainstorm High School. In Yakamba Thousand Division, Kabali Municipality leaving students stranded and property worth millions destroyed. <laughs> this fire gutted the dormitories at around 2.30 p.m. And according to the students, the dormitories hosted more than 60 candidates of Senior 4 and Senior 6 together with other classes. The candidates that were sleeping in that dormitory suffered some consequences because they have lost their books that they were revising, reading, others have lost their materials such as the mattresses, the bed covers, clothes, almost everything. So some are going to lose hope, they are going to lose confidence and they are affected emotionally. So you find that they are failing almost their exams just being an effect to them. Amagari Joshua and Junior Tumramie, all senior four candidates of the school, said that they were in class after having their lunch when they saw huge smoke coming out of the third story during. They said that on rushing there, they were shocked to find fire raising the dormitory, running away for safety because fire was heavy. We had a struggle because we wanted to save our property, especially with the candidates. We are beginning exams next to next, next month. So we had to struggle in order to save our property, especially books, because we Akash guys like a job Yarohanga, both students of the school, said that the fire has burnt beds, students' beddings, and books among others, adding that the incident is going to greatly affect the candidates whose property especially books have been completely burned. <laughs> We were disappointed when we are in the classes up school to find out that the building was caught by fire and the students were not happy. The students randomly ran to their dormitories picking their properties and some of the properties have been managed to be rescued but others have been caught by fire. Police fire brigade arrived at the school but struggled as the firefighting truck failed to get entry into the school due to the lack of space. This was students to fetch water using buckets to put down the fire. The school head teacher Bernard Bikugumuanji said that the incident did not cause injuries or death to any student, adding that the affected students will share accommodation and notes with their fellows. At the moment, we are not sure of the cause of the fire. Uh, there is no death reported, and even the injury is not is not there because all students were in their classrooms doing the exams. For the candidates, since not all the rooms have been affected, there are other students who sleep in other dormitories, so they will share the, uh, the, the notes. They, they will be cooperative and work together. May I know the time, the, the time remaining is so limited, but I know I have prepared my students only that they will be traumatized, that one is obvious, they will be traumatized, but in these two weeks we will guide them, we will counsel them, and other stakeholders will come in to make sure that these students do their exams when they are comfortable. El Mate, the police spokesperson for Chigezi region, confirms the incident, saying that the cause of the fire is not yet known, adding that the investigations are ongoing. But police suspects the cause could be of power issues. The likely cause uh, at the moment we can't talk, but uh, as we have already said, so short circuit has been uh, mostly the cause, and especially with the power on and off. When the power is blowing on and off, the load shading it causes sparks, and in most cases, uh, it causes such a fire. However, we on ground to establish, we don't take it for granted, uh, we shall uh, establish the key records. We don't be in any injury, and we thank God for that, because uh, all the children were actually out of the place. And we thank God, although it is unfortunate, but it's, she, it started during that. Because during the night, you find there are issues that may cause such 
issues to happen. Kabali Brainstorm High School Bronx, Elasma Sabasa, and Alex Waguma, prominent businessmen in Kabali District, and this is not the first time fire got to the school. In October 2018, a low one boys dormitory was gutted by fire. Nobody for Chigese Television.